This is a quick one because I had to figure it out due to my own bad decision. <laughs> so, uh, when you set the MySQL PWD environment variable, that messes with every connection string that you are managing in Microsoft Access because now MySQL is looking for the password in the environment variable and it's confused with a password that's set in the connection property. And another thing is, is that uh, Microsoft Windows manages these connection strings, I believe, in registration keys on Windows, which is kind of odd. And you have to go a really funky route to manage these connection strings because you can't manage them directly in Microsoft Access. You can create them all day long, but you can't manage them. You have to use this tool that's in the control panel. So that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my control panel. And the way I do that is I just type in the search box control. And usually the first item that pops up is the control panel. So I'll click on that. And then there's a search box in my control panel. You may have the small icons. I never change this. So usually I change it to small icons, but whatever. Go to the search box, just type ODBC. And you should get two options here, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, I didn't know which one to select. And I assumed, because I was using the 64-bit version of Microsoft Access, that I should use the 64-bit ODBC data sources, and I was correct. So probably depending on which version of Microsoft Access you're using would determine which one of these data sources you should edit. So I'm going to go to the 64-bit one. And here is my uh, custom connection that I added in here, this contact outreach that we're using for our video series. And I clicked on the Configure button. And it brought up the same dialog that I had to use before. And there was a password in this password box. Now, I removed the password and I saved it. And if I click test, it works just fine because MySQL is looking for that uh, environment variable password. And I click, click OK. Then you click OK. And if you reopen Microsoft Access, it should open up those tables again. Uh, a thing to remember with our table, something that you know is going to happen if you remove these tables and try to re-add them is that any design changes you've made, like in our case we added a drop down box to select the sponsor and it would display the name of the sponsor instead of the ID, that's going to be gone. So before you do that, I, I would suggest you uh, just close the database, don't delete the uh, linked tables, don't change anything, and um, go and do what I just suggested you do. Thank you. Bye.